It is Street Fighter Alpha 2. Why Alpha 2? Well, it's the only one I have here. Street Fighter Alpha 2 was kind of like um, an odd entry in the series because Alpha was sort of like a prequel to Street Fighter 2, which was the most famous, but a sequel, in a way, I guess, to the original Street Fighter that no one really played, I think. It's just an arcade game. I played it once at a like a bowling alley or something like that a long ass time ago, so I don't really have a lot of memories of it. But Street Fighter Alpha was a sequel to the first one, a prequel to the second game, sort of wedging itself in the middle, then they complicated it with like Alpha 2 and Alpha 3, which I guess was supposed to be part of like... I guess um, supposed to be like the same entry into the game as far as the story is concerned, they just added more characters, sort of like Super Street Fighter 2 or 2 Turbo or... Super Street Fighter HD Remix or all that kind of shit. Okay. See a lot of the familiar characters. Got Ryu, Chun-Li, Ken, Zangief, Dalsim, Sagat, M. Bison, and Akuma. You got other characters like Sakara from, I guess, uh... Did she debut in, like, Rival Schools or something like that? Or was this the first game she was in? I can't freaking remember. Anyway, the old standard. Ryu or Ken. It's the way you gotta play it. All the time. It's a game that I always felt like was just... I mean, they, they definitely tried their best to make it, but it was something that seems like it really should have been reserved for the next generation of consoles. It seemed like it was much better on... And it actually was a lot better on like the arcade if I uh, was there an arcade release of this I never played an arcade of it but like the Sega Saturn is where this seemed like it belonged I guess a PlayStation version wasn't too bad either but and uh, people probably didn't like the the loading times that came along with um, that came along with disc access games but then again we did see quite a bit of a loading screen there on this SNES version Yes, cartridge-based machines do, in fact, have loading screens, whether you want to believe it or not. The fuck? Hey, uh, haha, there you go. Ha! <laughs> there was another loading screen. That was retarded. <laughs> Alright. Round two, then I'll move on to the next one. Man, the audio is so bad. <laughs> Sure, you can. Oh yeah, now I'm getting the hang of this. It's a shame I'm only going to be playing for one fight. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while since I played this. Oh, well there we go. Should have wrecked him with that friggin' rush attack. Points! Mega Man X2 This because... Ah, fuck, get over that. Mega Man X, when it originally released, I thought maybe they had referenced the Roman numeral for the letter, for the number 10. So I thought Mega Man X may have been Mega Man 10, but I don't really remember up to Mega Man 5 or 6 coming out at the time that X did. I guess, I guess it was either 5 or 6 had come out by the time X had released, so it didn't make sense to me. So I figured it must have been 10, or um, it must have been X. <laughs> it mu I figured it must have been Mega Man X was the name of the game. Then they released like Mega Man X2, which I don't know. Instead of instead of Mega Man um, being like a sort of weird sequel to it, Mega Man X was definitely a change, like a new series based up upon the bones of the old the old game. There. Whoa, that was a stupid move. 
Then Mega Man X2 comes out, and it's like, oh, what the hell is this? They're just completely um, starting from starting over, aren't they? <laughs> Almost didn't make it there. It's got a lot of the same um, bones of the series as the... Um, oh, shit, you asshole. <laughs> He's got the rush at the beginning, the dash, and all the abilities come with that, but some of the other shit that he could do at the end of X it aren't here, like the Ultra Mega Buster, the X Buster that Zero gives you in the first X game isn't here anymore. Definitely, um, I don't know, overall I feel like this game was an improvement over the first game, but not as memorable in my mind. That is a big sum bitch. Room scale enemies. Definitely something that was not possible in the original Mega Man series. Limitations on the NES hardware. Now if you sort of look at this guy, it's a lot of what he is is just sort of like a big moving background. And the only parts that are really sprites, I guess, are the um, the head and the arms or some shit. Oh, got him. <laughs> That's right, folks. We're trying to jam a story into this game. Sure it's not Rockman X? Yeah, I don't have patience for you. I don't even know why I'm bothering to watch this. I'm supposed to end the end this clip. Continuing my uh, tradition of sequels to games that I've done episodes on previously, we have oh, Super Punch Out. Sequel to the game Mike Tyson's Punch Out. For the NES, this one's on SNES. Uh, do I really want to do this? <laughs> Why am I at the end? Shit, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know, I never realized that at the time when I thought of the name for this YouTube channel, that the initials MLG would make it sound sort of like Major League Gaming or something like that. Did not occur to me at all. Oh, I'm in the minor leagues. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. He's 56 and 110 pounds. <laughs> like Glass Joe. It never occurred to me that MLG could be misinterpreted as Major League Gaming or Major League Gamer. Plays a lot like the old, um, the old Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It's, it's the gameplay is a little bit slower. You're mostly just gonna be punching and dodging. I don't I don't really care for the big and in, semi invisible guy that you play as in the screen here. I prefer to like the little Mac kind of thing. I mean, it does make you feel like you've accomplished something when you take out a guy much much bigger than you. But this um. Alpha Channel dude sitting in front, though, just doesn't do it for me. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely a technical improvement, and was, I guess was a little bit closer to the original arcade game in the way that it looks or plays or something than Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! was. But in the end, like, yeah, it's, it, this is definitely not what anyone would consider their favorite Punch-Out! game. Honestly, I think their only really good Punch-Out! game was the original one. I guess the one with Mr. Dream in it might have been just as good as the Mike Tyson version, but it doesn't have Mike Tyson in it, so, you know, there you go. Then there was the Wii Punch-Out! game, and, I don't know, if you actually like that, I think you're insane. It wasn't too bad. I remember having a lot of fun with this when I was a kid, but it just didn't 
why it took so long to make an episode even involving it, because it just does not have, I don't have strong memories of this one.